Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week four Achievement Assembly. And what a week it has been. I cannot believe we're in week four and we are doing it so amazingly. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Um, even if you're not directly in this assembly, know that every single staff member and every single parent out and carer out there is so proud of your achievement. And we are just delighted that even though we're in such a difficult time and you know it's not our usual learning environment, you are all doing so well. So regardless of whether or not you're at home with your families, learning or in school, um, in our in-school provision learning, just know that I'm incredibly proud of you as are all of the adults um, involved in your learning and you should be really proud of yourselves. So give yourselves a pat on the back and let's see what's happened this week. I'll just make myself smaller so you can see the actual assembly. There we go. So we start off with our youngest children, our two-year-olds, our tadpoles, and they have been busy this week reading the three little pigs. And they've been making their own pig houses. They've been joining some Zoom sessions. You can see them here online with Karen and Roxanne because Abu has been teaching in school. And here we've got um, one of the children in tadpoles building some house, uh, some, a house, I think, out of blocks over here with his friend so and they've also been singing a story called what's in the box I don't actually know that story so you'll have to teach it to me I can I, maybe that's what you're doing here you're singing a song so well done to all of the tadpoles I'm so proud that you're still even though you're so little and so young you're still practicing all of your uh, skills at home and working really hard so well done to tadpoles so we've got the froglets and the froglets have also been really busy reading the three little pigs and you can see that they went outdoors they said did lots of things and they went outdoors collecting building doing art retelling and also math so you can see that all done here wow this is amazing so this um, I'm not naming any of the children's names just because we this is on Twitter uh, I will be on Twitter and also on our YouTube but here we've got one of the children oh my god what a creative arty thing to do they've used one of the leaves from outside to make I wonder if you can guess what this is yes I think it's the big bad wolf although this wolf looks really kind and here we've got another child and they've made using different materials of three different houses fabulous being outside and building oh wow look at this house that looks pretty um sturdy doing some number work writing and practicing numbers again here we've got some more building houses and oh this is so lovely to see some siblings at home building together and teaching each other they've also been doing some science experiments so here we've got two children and they've been thinking about what happens when we mix water and oil so here we've got them separate and I think this looks like it's been mixed I wonder what you think can you make some observations what did happen when you mix oil and water and why does that happen see if you can do that at home with your families well done to all of the froglets I'm so proud of you Okay, again, ladybirds have also been reading the three little pigs. And as you can see, the work gets harder as the children get older. So we, they have been doing some hunting. And this time, they've been thinking about the different categories of materials, such as rough and smooth or soft and hard. So they've been thinking, classifying the different materials. And they've also planned an alternative material to build the three pigs houses. So they thought about what they would want to build it out of. They've been planning, writing some notes, and then they're having a go at building the different houses. And you can see their different um, plans here and also what they use, what materials, fantastic. Okay, and then also in math, they've been learning different ways to make the number 10. So learning number bonds to 10 and lots of different games at home to explore. So we can see children at school and at home working hard. And they also did the same experiment. I wonder what the children and ladybirds think about mixing oil and water. Fabulous ladybirds, give yourselves a clap. Okay, let's see who our star learners are. So in tadpoles, we have Lena and Evan. In froglets, we have Annabella and Lumi. In ladybirds, we have Evie and Ari. In dragonflies, we have Kamiya and Fifi. In butterflies, we have Ilhan and Ethan. In grasshoppers, we have Amacy and Farida. In beetles, we have Zach V and Emma. Well done to all of those star learners. If you're at home, get your parents and family to give you a clap. And if you're at school, get your class to give you a clap. Well done to all of those children.
Okay, moving on to year one. So in year one, they, as we know, they've been learning about different animals. And this week in their project week, they've been thinking about conservation. So that means protecting and looking after the different animals. And they did something called P4C, which is philosophy for children. And they discussed whether or not they should try and save um, animals which are under threat. So they're endangered. Um, then they did shadow puppets. They learned how to draw. They created information posters and they ought to teach people what they'd learned. So you can see here a fab fabulous information poster. And I love that people are still doing lots of writing at home. And wow, these look great shadow puppets. So I hope you one had a, a fun week doing that. Well done to you one. Give yourselves a clap. Year two have been reading Little Red Riding Hood and they've been focusing on making puppets this week. So they created their own puppets and they practice retelling the story, story orally. So that means saying it out loud and they use their story maps to help them. Um, and it says a special mention to all the children who sent a lovely video of them performing. Oh, Sophie and Isabel, please send me some videos so I can post them on our Twitter. That is fantastic and I can't wait to watch them. Well done to you too. Give yourselves a clap. Okay, let's see our key stage two star learners this week. In bats, we have Zeta and Amelia. Excuse me. In squirrels, we have Hafsa O and Scarlet. In hedgehogs, we have Henry and Mason. In foxes, we have Amira, Ilan, and Sinead. In blackbirds, we have Maya P and Hudson. In woodpeckers, we have Lenny and Issa. In herons, we have Logan and Rihanna. And in kestrels, we have Edith and Arturo. So again, if you're at home, please make sure your families are all giving you a clap. And if you're at school, stand up and let your class give you a clap. Well done to all of those star learners. Okay, year three, I, have, I am so impressed with your art and craft and all of your building. Um, over the last couple of weeks, you've done lots of beautiful artworks. And I love these using different paper modeling techniques to make their own sculptures. Do you know what I would really like is if someone made me one for my office, that would be fantastic. I'm so impressed. Well done to all of the children in year three, give them a clap. Okay, year four have been learning about electricity and science and they learnt about the different components of electricity. So the children at school were um, able to use the resources that we have and they were building their own electrical circuits. But even so, even if you were at home, you were able to use the online learning to learn about that and also draw your diagrams and build your own circuits. So well done to all of you four. Give them a clap. Year five, now I was speaking to Gemma about this yesterday because she's in school and she said she was so impressed um, and I'm sure Lucy feels exactly the same way with all of the children's work at home. They have been, um, and at school, they've been look, um, basically doing their own independent science projects about the planets in our, our um, solar system. So they were able to choose how they would like to do that and that's what I really like. They were being creative. So here we've got some information posters um, we've got a book that somebody made. We've got a presentation slideshow. And this child made a video, which I hope someone will send me because I can't wait to see it. Um, they said here their work was extra extraordinary, so amazing. And let's listen to this one. Oh, let me just go back and see if it worked. It worked for me before. Oh, there we go. This is the...
So I will send that to teachers so they can watch it at home. But um, that was Lenny's amazing podcast. Lenny, I have listened to it all. It was fantastic. Well done. I'm so impressed with all of you five and being so creative and thinking about what works for them and how they want to represent some information that they've learned. So really good independent work. Well done to you five. Give them a clap. Okay. And in you five, uh, sorry, not you five, you six, they've been writing inspired. Uh, they've been inspired by some short films. And they chose their favourite film from a selection that Marianne and Nabila gave them. And they thought about what writing outcome that they would do. And this one is from Haroon's News Report. Um, so I'm going to read you a little bit. It says, queries and questions. When Andrew Williams walked through the door of HSBC in Bromley, London, at, at 6.15am, he was taken aback to see a generous amount of money aside where it should be, a locker. Along with this, enigmatic scene came a plain piece of paper with a computer annotated a computer annotated black circle lying next to the pile of money mr williams was quite certain that there was an amount uh, sorry an attempt to steal the cash but a failure must have occurred even though there is no evidence that these two circumstances are linked a cashier at the bank who went by the name of john dimwit <laughs> has not been found ever since today investigations did their duty by go investigators sorry did their duty by going to his family and interviewing them however according to them an investigation around the house mr dimwit did not return to his home oh i'm i'm going to read the rest of that myself but if you want to have a minute to read it yourself wow i can't wait marianne nabila please send me some more examples of this amazing writing well done to all of you six fantastic and i've had some brothers in school this week who have said that they um, wanted to share some amazing work. So this is Dean, who's in E1, and he has been doing some amazing writing. Look at all these pages and pages of writing. And he wrote this wonderful story, which is yet to bring in to show me, but I, I can't wait to read it. So well done to Dean for doing some amazing writing, especially for a U1 child. And then we've got his brother, Leo, who's in U5 Blackbirds. And I think it was last week they had, um, we had Alfrey's actually video, the um, still animation about Lady Winter. So they were given this task in this occasion to write a poem. And you can see the highlighted words are personification. If you don't know what personification is, you should look it up. But it's a really good poetic device to use to bring things to life that aren't normally living. So to give um, life to objects, etc. Um, so I'm going to read you just the first verse. Lady Winter is trudging through the snow with an ice crown on her braided hair. She has a warm white coat, cloak, sorry, and a sky blue scarf curling around her neck. So he wrote this amazing poem, which you can see here and read. You can pause your, the video to read it yourself. And then he also published it. So I was so impressed with those brothers who are doing amazing writing at home. Okay, that is the end of our achievement assembly. So again, I just want to thank you all for the hard work. I know it's really tricky because you're not in the, the classroom with your uh, all the adults. And I know that it's really hard for you to continue to be motivated. And I'm so impressed that every time I look at all the Google classrooms and on tapestry, that you are working so hard. And I'm so happy that even though we're not all together, that you're still learning. So I want you to keep it up, keep focused. Um, be engaged and motivated and try something new. Try creating some videos or um, some stories or doing a play as a family or doing something exciting that you can all do. And I love to see that siblings are helping each other <coughs> learning. So well done to everybody. I can't wait till we're all together. But until then, please keep, keep safe. Have a lovely weekend. Make sure you get out for your um, hourly exercise and enjoy being outside. Okay, until then, I will speak to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.